But the one constant theme from 6 a.m. until now on this show today has been a special program coming your way tonight, second special program in the last five days at 8 p.m., which co-stars former Governor Andrew Cuomo. Now, tonight, Cuomo did it Friday. Tonight, our main man, John Katsimatidis, host of both terrific shows, Katz and Cosby, 5 p.m. weekdays, and the Katz Roundtable, 8 a.m. Sundays, is going to sit in with Andrew. So you get Katz and Cuomo. That's how that works. It's a good alliteration, like Katz and Cosby. Yeah, absolutely. Katz and Cuomo. So here he is, owner, operator, most importantly, like my father, dear friend, the great John Katsimatidis. John, good morning, pal. How are you? Sid, I love your music that you play. And, thank you. And uh, thank you for doing such a great job thank you. on WABC and being part of the team that has propelled this station up to the, well, how does Larry Kudlow say it? The solar system. The solar system, yes. And uh, it, it, WABC stands, uh, the joke we tell at 5 o'clock, and it's not really a joke because it's really the truth. We stand for truth justice in the American way. Yes. And the one thing I do say at five o'clock, I don't believe in extreme left. I don't believe in extreme right. And all of a sudden, uh, we put Andrew Cuomo on, Governor Cuomo, who is one smart guy, uh, and we put him on, and there's there's people that are upset. (laughs) And I don't understand why we're upset. First of all, uh, Mark Levin was upset. Why is he upset? I don't know. The, our contract that we have uh, with the, on that show with the old owner's cumulus right. was we have the right to put on specials. And right now, there is something going on in New York. There's a new budget due April 1st. We're going to decide the fate of New York on April 1st with the budget. Are we going to have a New York with law and order? Or are we going to have recklessness like we've had the past two years people don't want to ride the subways they're scared a lot of them a woman was uh, from pbs this morning was punched in the face yeah I saw but that. for no reason yeah and what we want is the new york we all love and i've said to the governor hokel and i've said it to to everybody in albany you know what i said for whom do the bells toll the 20 million New Yorkers that want to have a normal New York, that want to walk around our city, that want to walk around our state and be safe, or the 3,000 violent criminals, the violent criminals. I don't care about bail reform for the guy that stole a loaf of bread. (laughs) They steal a loaf of bread. They're hungry. I can understand that. Even from your own store, even from Christie's. Yeah, I don't care. (laughs) But what we need is law and order. And we've had Governor Cuomo on because he deserves a voice. You know, I believe everybody deserves a voice. He was governor of the of the state of New York for a long time. His father was governor of the state of New York for 12 years. The Cuomo family has dedicated themselves yeah. to New York. They deserve a voice. Listen, uh, uh, I'm not going to shut agree. them out. Uh, listen, we're on record this morning, starting at 6 a.m. I've asked everybody here, John, from Pete to Lou to Justin to know, we all agree he should be on. We all agree he'll be a fascinating listen. But, but, if you're concerned about crime in this city, and you are, there's nothing phony about this. This is not John Katsimatidis being overdramatic. He can live anywhere in the world. He lives here in New York City, okay? You really are concerned. Andrew Cuomo was the architect of that bill which Kathy Hochul hasn't changed and is destroying this city. So you have to understand that the listeners are upset if Cuomo now becomes, he's disingenuous if he's critical of Hochul because he did this bill in the first place and he needs, he has a responsibility to the listeners and New Yorkers to say, this is what I did, maybe I made a mistake, maybe I didn't make a mistake, but to just not address it, he's doing himself and the listeners in New York, in my opinion, John Katsimatidis, a huge disservice. Last Friday night was Governor Cuomo take one. Take one. Tonight is Governor Cuomo take two. Right. And I cannot guarantee what he's going to say. Right, I know that. Uh, but I have recommended to him, as his friend, that he should address certain subjects that made him look bad. Right. And uh, uh, let me tell you, 
uh, I got together over the weekend on Saturday. We get together with a bunch of friends uh, and, and and kibitz on a, on a Saturday morning. Kibitz, great uh, word. Uh, you like that too, Schwartz? <laughs> kibitz, job, yeah. <laughs> and 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 you, you, you know what? Even my hard Republican friend said, "We, you know, we we don't dislike Cuomo, but he, he was tough, and he became he was tough when he had to be tough." And he was tough when he asked to be tough. And the re- my recommendation to Governor Hochul, and nobody said anything bad about Governor Hochul, but there's common sense Democrats in the state assembly and common sense Democrats in the, in the state Senate, and they have to have the courage to stand up against the bizarre, yeah. the bizarro, remember the bizarro <laughs> comics? Yes. The yeah. bizarro people that want to... to, to we, I don't want to lose our city, and I don't want to lose our well, state. The guy on the front page of the New York Post today, to your point, John, is Carl Hasty. He's the state assemblyman. He's the speaker out of the Bronx, of course. He doesn't want to hear it. He doesn't care how you feel about crime. There's a lot of African-American well, he charter to schools. It, it, hey, I, I'd like Governor Cuomo to stand up against him. Me too. And, and say enough is enough. New Yorkers deserve to be safe. We pay the highest taxes in the world. I'm not complaining about taxes. You know what I'm complaining about? I want my kids to be safe walking around. You want your kids to be safe walking in the subways. And, and that's what it's all about. But don't you think, look, you and I are both friends with Erica, the mayor, Eric Adams. We're both, we like him. And we support him. Oh, support him 100%. Because he wants New Yorkers so, to be safe. 100%. And, and, and we don't want uh, Albany to, to tie him up not right. to be safe. So don't, but don't you think it would be better for guys like Adams, who does want New York to be safe? We both know that or Cuomo to come out and be more critical of some of these Democrats, and they just don't well, do it. Well, let's see what happens tonight. Okay. So, you know, I'm asking everybody to tune in uh, because uh, I think Andrew Cuomo has a lot of common sense. And do we agree with him on everything? No, no. 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 What, what did Ed Koch used to say? Mayor Koch. He used to say, if you agree with me on everything, you're crazy. <laughs> but if you That's agree, true, by the way. But, but if you agree with me on 70% of the things, yeah. you're my friend. Is that what he said? That's Mayor Koch's wow. famous I statement. loved him, by the way. And that's what I yeah. believe in. Yeah. And I believe that everybody should have the right to speak. Now, I got Mark Levin, our 6 to 9 o'clock show. Yeah. He's all upset. He's, he's yelling, screaming, hollering, criticizing me. Why? We have the right to do it under our contract. No, he, he's there's doing a, There's no, an emergency. No, we're allowed. There's but, an emergency going on of course. With, with the budget doing Albany. Yeah. And we're allowed to do of it course. under the, uh, that, that, uh, that uh, contract. And by the way, not only are we allowed to and do it. And I try it, to be nice to him. I because, know. look, he is a nice man. He gets crazy. Uh, but, yeah. uh, uh, you know, and he uh, he's a good broadcaster. And... Uh, uh, he does a good job, yeah. Uh, but you know he's got to stay calm sometimes. I, he, he gets crazy, and look, we're allowed to do it. And for what it's worth, Cuomo got really good ratings on Friday night. Oh, that's our game. To that's the solar our game. system. I know. So, but why Levin is upset is because well, he I hates got Cuomo. Janet, I got Janet hates Dean Democrats. upset, and yeah. I, I feel bad. She lost a couple of relatives yeah. uh, to uh, uh, to the pandemic, and we all lost a lot of friends. We all lost a lot of friends. So, uh, I, 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 Janice Dean is a decent person. Good person. And a good person, and she does a great job. Uh, but, uh, and, and I understand because on Sunday <laughs> was the anniversary of her uh, in laws dying. Oh, I didn't even know that. Wow. Uh, so, yeah. uh, I can yeah. understand. And I offered her time on, the, uh, on our shows, and I said, Janice, if you want time, you have it. The same thing with Mark Levin. I, you know, I said we gave notice to uh, uh, Cumulus, who who does the networking for Mark Levin, uh, and uh, is that wait, is that Cumulus or Westwood One? Westwood One was a subsidiary of Cumulus. Gotcha, got it. Right. So I think it's still uh, it's yeah. still Cumulus, yeah. And uh, you know, and I understand uh, Emily, our lawyer, was trying to contact them uh, for two weeks, and guess what? Didn't even answer. Didn't even answer. They don't and, care. Look, we want what's right for New York. WABC stands for what's right with all Americans. All Americans. Hey, listen. I don't care your color. I don't care your race. I don't. We want what's right because that's the way 
America has been. The proof is in the pudding. When you took over this station, we were number 23. Now, look. 28. 28. Now, we discuss some very polarizing topics, and you've got a station, John, that is heavily to the right in a city and a state that is blue, and yet we still get great ratings, which says whatever you're doing, this is a testament to you and Margot, whatever you're doing is genius, and it's working, and whether it means Eric Adams coming on with Sid, Andrew Cuomo coming on with John, or any one of these folks. Listen, somebody offered me Hakeem Jeffries for next week. And um, Hakeem, I know for a long time. Yeah, I mean, I'm not a huge Hakeem fan. Again, but I if don't he vote wants Democrat. To be on, you should have him on. Exactly right. And I wouldn't say no. And, look, I've and had, if Cuomo wants I've to come had, out with me, I'm not going to say no. I had uh, I had Senator Schumer on many times. I, you know, I, I believe everybody should have the right to speak. And WABC is not the people extreme right. Right. We're not extreme left. We're people that deserve to to listen to everybody and let our listeners decide how they feel. Yeah. And I talked to Curtis about uh, Anthony Weiner. We gave him a second chance. And I think Curtis and Anthony Weiner get along very well now. They do. And actually, Anthony Weiner is getting pretty good ratings on a Saturday, which uh, which is, again, that's that's the name of the game. Double O's ratings. I mean, that's the name. You know, people go to me, but Sid, I know the ratings are good. But aren't you sort of selling out? I go, what do no, you mean selling, selling out? Sell- what does that getting, mean? Giving a, give a chance of, hey, you don't have, I'm not saying you have to vote for Andrew Cuomo. Right. I'm not saying you have to vote for Anthony Weiner. But I think you have, we, we should we listen to them at least. Right. And then hate them. That's fine. Or love them. That's fine, too. But I listen. was on the board of the new school. And, uh, and uh, what was the name? Bob Kerry. Oh, Bob was a uh, chancellor, sure, a sure. former, uh, and that's an extreme left school. Yeah, yeah. And they invited Tom Rich, the Homeland Security guy, oh, yeah. he had a new book to speak. And there was a couple of kids in the audience, just a couple. There were maybe 30, 40 people in the audience, just two kids that wouldn't let him speak. They were doing blow horns. Oh, boy. But. But that's what our universities are about. Yeah, I know. Listen to both sides. And you know, it's funny you say that because I'm watching Chad Lopez and, by the way, the lovely Emily Panko looks great. Nice pink. Uh, this is uh, high school interns. They all look very handsome. And look how well we dressed. We have the high school interns from Farrell High School in Staten Island. Okay. And they're going to be working on weekends, some of them, and learning more about the major leagues. No kidding. So yes. all these kids here are going to be working this summer, and they're going to get a taste of exactly what we do here, which is... With WABC being the most major station on the East Coast of of, uh, of the United States of America. Yeah. And don't forget, our signal at night... You can hear it in Georgia. When, Absolutely. When Mark Levin is on, it goes from Canada. Yeah. All the way to Miami and Northern Europe. It's huge. It's, it's huge. huge. Yeah. So when you see your ratings, those ratings that Nielsen puts out are only the ratings for the tri-state area. That's it. We're That's even it. bigger. We're even it's, bigger. It's even bigger. Even than bigger. That. So do you think, I know you don't know the answer to this, do you think Andrew Cuomo will run again for some political office? You Let me guess. tell you something. I, I know the Cuomo family a long time. I know Andrew a long time. And he is a bit, little bit taken back in the way he was treated and how a lot of people uh, that were his friends. Stabbed him in the back. Two well, in particular, well, Kathy did, Hochul and Letitia James well, both stabbed him did, in the back. Did, 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 what, what did Caesar say? At uh, two. <laughs> wait, wait, Caesar said, Brutus, and you too? Exactly. And, and, you know, and I think he's upset about that. And, yeah. and he deserves to be heard. That's it. That's what, the way I feel. He deserves to be heard. Mark Levin deserves to be heard. I have nothing against him. And uh, I love the fact you brought up Janice Dean, too. And Janice really Dean, nice of you. I feel nice bad. She, lo- yeah. she lost yeah. two relatives. Yeah. But uh, we're going to find out the truth. The same way we're finding out the truth now about what really happened January 6th. It is mind-boggling on my last night's show that you don't, we don't know the whole truth. Well, Mike Pence. We will find out the whole you've, you've gotten close with Mike Pence. He was here uh, last week. The vice week. president was sitting right here yeah. in his office. And I, and right I here inter- in the studio. And just a month ago, I interviewed him here. I met him, too, at your office. Yes. So he's been here twice now over the last month. And he claims his life was in danger and it was much worse than Donald uh, makes it sound. I don't know how you feel about well, that. Well, there's tapes now. The tapes have come through that some of the Capitol Police and plainclothes Capitol Police was on my show last night, 
We're letting people in yes. and waving them in. We, we talk and of the 300 shows. people arrested, I don't remember, yeah. 300? Yeah. yeah, 300. Only one had a gun. This is no insurrection. <laughs> you need, an insurrection is you need guns. Right. One guy had a gun. That's I right. mean, you know, yeah. and the yeah. Capitol Police had 100 guns. I know. I and mean, then, you, then, you know, then, look, the Amer- I'm tired of the American people being, what's the right word? Conned. Yeah. We are being conned by our politicians. I believe that American people deserve to know the truth, and that's what WABC does. We tell the truth, and we and we seek out the truth, Sid. And you do it uh, every day in great fashion, 5 p.m. every weeknight, Cats and Cosby, 8 a.m. every Sunday morning. Great show. Best guest list in the country, the Cats Roundtable, and a special WABC show coming up later on tonight at 8 p.m. My man, John Katsimatidis, with former New York Governor Andrew Cuomo, only right here on WABC. Very exciting. Thank you, Sid. Thank you. Great job, John Katsimatidis. Check him out at 5 o'clock tonight and 8 o'clock tonight for John and Governor Cuomo. We'll take a short break. More to do on the Wednesday edition of New York's number one morning show, Sid and Friends in the Morning, Talk Radio 77. WABC. Strawberry.